I think we're looking forward to the next games. I think there was some time coming um, to play these games. Um, I think the last game was in February for us. So um, we're looking forward to playing um, uh, the games against GB. Always a tough team to play against. They're very well coached. Um, if it will bring some changes for us, yeah, I think that it, it will because uh, I think uh, at this point in time we should be actually enjoying our holiday post Tokyo. So I think the fact that actually Tokyo that doesn't go th didn't go through gives us a chance to re reset um, and rethink some things about our game that we actually we're trying to challenge now uh, from within. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to to, to change some stuff about ourselves, um, but. Um, yeah, I think mainly was try to get a hit out again, you know, try to get a, a, a full-on game as a national team. So that's, that's, that's going to be our first uh, challenge. I think we need to be very aware that actually what we're doing now is not uh, a given. I think a lot of countries are in lockdown and people can, can actually uh, go out of their houses and a lot of deaths in the world. Um, so we're very aware of that um, privilege that we have playing these games. Um, for us, uh, for sure, it gives us a chance to reassess our program with an extra year. Uh, I think clubs in Holland had the chance to prepare themselves for a season with you know four, six, four to six weeks time with the players, but normally they get them back from us within one or two weeks of, of the restart for the next tournament and uh, competition season. So yeah, we are aware of. Um, that it brought us many more things than only um, having to stop the Olympic Games and give us a chance to uh, uh, to have a fresh start as a, as, a, as a group. And I think that actually that's something that we actually really cherish and we just try to make the most out of it. I mean, I mean GB has a lot of really good players, you know, individuals and, um, and uh, always a very well coached team, you know, Danny is very smart in what he does. Uh, I think they're, they're, they're running a full time program, they've got a lot of time to train with each other um, and I think that what we always see and expect of them is that they're very relentless, they never stop uh, believing in what they do, you know, they're very thorough in following suit to what they do. and. Um, so they always close games, and um, uh, in the women's time, uh, when Danny was coached with women's team, it was the same story, you know, and uh, a very tough, very, very, very thorough, very well coached uh, uh, teams, and they always try to do something different and, uh, um, than what they used to do, and that, that's also, also 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 the challenge for us. But having said that, uh, more than a any other time in the, in, in in the season, the focus is going to be on ourselves purely and mainly. Yeah, we have had enough time. I think um, uh, you always want more, and that's I think some of the karma of the coach. And uh, you always want more time. But the clubs in Holland have been very um, helpful um, this season, and we have been able to train with each other quite a long time since the first, I think, since the seventh of September. So it's been okay. And I think that this uh, break in the whole loss now that happened because of the pandemic uh, gave us the chance to readjust the program, actually add more days to our prep. So we should be okay. Still not knowing where we are because we haven't played together for since February, but we are happy with our preparation.